So in this demonstration, we would like to, uh, we will attempt to write a code which um, will resolve forces in this situation where you have coplanar and concurrent forces. So from basic mechanics, coplanar means that they are in the same plane, the forces I mean. And concurrent means that the lines of action are intersecting at some point. So the basic mechanics approach, as we are familiar with, you resolve the forces into the x and y components. And then you sum the forces in the x and y. Once that is done, you can use the Pythagorean theory to find the resultant of the force and then use the tan inverse of the sum of forces in the y over the sum of forces in the x to find the angle that the resultant makes with the positive x axis. Okay, so we'll just head over to MATLAB and then write a code for that. And before we do so, I mean, these are real life um, examples of how to apply a script like this to solve problems, right? Now, uh, for our code to be easier um, for us to write, we are going to consider this data table. So basically, all we are doing is that we are measuring the angles from the positive x axis. So from the x axis to the 10 newton force, you are 45 degrees. But from the x axis to the 5 newton force, you have 180 degrees minus what? Minus 30, and that gives me 150. And I do same for that. I have 300 degrees, and that is what you are seeing in this data sheet. Okay, so let's head over to MATLAB and implement that. Before we do so, though, this is the process we have to go through. We'll ask the user to indicate the number of forces, and then we'll use a for loop to enter the magnitude and angle of all the forces, make some computations, and then provide an output. Okay. Finally, over to MATLAB. So here is where we are. Um, now we are not going to write our script in the command window. Obviously, we'll have to use a new script. So let's create a new script and we are going to use the percentage symbol to comment. Now the comment I provide here will be the title. Let me just say, um, concurrent coplanar forces. Result, resultant of concurrent coplanar forces, and then what else can I say? By me, and then if I could ever spell that on the day today is the eighth of April twenty. 23 star Saturday. Okay, so let me ask the user to supply the number of forces. So I'll use an input um, command for that, and then I'll say enter the number of forces. All right, so I have that, and then I'll need to take the magnitude. Of the force, then I'll use an input for that. So I'll say enter, enter the magnet, magnitude of the force. Of the force, let's take that in Newton. Then we'll take the angle in degrees. So let's Enter the angle of force in degrees. Let's do that. So we've done that. Okay. What am I missing? Okay, now I have it. So what that means is that I have to um, 
um, I have to take the magnitude and angle of let's say if I'm working with three forces as has been shown in our example right I have three forces so I need to take the magnitude and angles of all the three forces so I can use a for loop for that right so I can say for and then let me end that and then I'll copy this and then put that in here um, so for i which is equal to 1 all the way to number of forces okay so if number of forces um, is given as 3 then I am going to loop 3 times right so I'll have to take this Great time. I'll select all of this and then use smart indents here to indent that. Okay, so let's test this. Let me run this. It'll ask me to save. I'll say con, um, concurrent um, coplanar forces. Now, as a reminder, there should be no spaces in the name you provide here while saving the .m file. Um, in place of space, you can always use um, you can always use uh, underscore like I've done. Okay, so let's save this. Now, when you run this, what does it say? Enter number of forces. I'll say three. Enter the magnitude. I'll say ten. And then the angle is 45, 5, the angle is 150. Mind you, all of these are in degrees, and then I'll have 15 and 300. Okay, so that is that. Now, you look at the workspace and you recognize that um, the magnitude I have here is 15, the angle is 3. So that corresponds to the very last entry. So only the magnitude and the angle for the very last entry has been recorded all this all the information here has been ignored and we don't want that so how do i solve that problem um, so what i'm going to say is for every iteration in the for loop that information should be saved and i do that by including i here and then I there okay so now you have this and they tell you that the size um, the size of the variable is changing with every iteration um, allow that let that be that is perfect it is exactly the behavior we want okay so I'll run this um, now before I run let me clear the workspace this and then do a CLC. Okay. Now we run the script. Number of forces, I'll say three. So magnitude 10, 45. And then I have 5, 150, and 15, 300. Okay. So now you see that all the information has been recorded. So I have a one by three matrix, which is um, basically a row vector. So I have a row vector here, which records all of the magnitude of the forces. And I have another row vector here, which records all of the angles. So now let's perform some computations, right? So the very first S component, the S component will be given by the magnitude the magnitude multiplied by cos d now cos d because the angle is in what is in degrees if the angle were in radians then we wouldn't have used cos d but rather we would have used um, just cos so that is just the MATLAB um, centers there is nothing magical to it okay all right so now i have all of this so all the components 
of x and y will be saved um, that means i have to include this so for every iteration i want the value to be calculated for the s component and the y and the y component and then i can now exit the for loop and sum right i can sum all the s components okay can sum all the s components then you can sum all the y all the y component sum all the y components like that and once that is done my resultant will be equal to um, square root which is an inbuilt function so square root of um, the sum of x which is raised to the power 2 plus the sum of y which is also raised to the power of 2 and the resultant the resultant angle will be equal to right a tan d means the arc tangent inverse okay so i'll have um, sum of sum of x like that and then i can say um, for my output out output let me say f print f okay so f print f and then within f print f what do i have um i should have the resultant is um, let me put in this placeholder the resultant is that will be in Newton and angle is um, degrees okay and then I'll have your resultant and resultant underscore angle okay so hopefully that should do the trick so i have output here yeah should i call this some calculations calculations okay so let me run this now I'll do clear. I'll do clear to clear the workspace. Yeah. And then CLC. And then now I can run that. So I'll say 3, 4, so are 10 and 45. And then 5 and 150. And then 15 and 300. Okay. So my solution is as follows. The force is 10.796693 Newton. My angle is negative 18.463476 degrees. And that is that. So code works. All right. What can I do? Let me say clear CLC. So clear and CLC. And then let's look at this problem okay so you can use your code to solve these problems all right okay so let's see how that works okay so i'm going to rerun my scripts um, the number of forces let me try this one here okay so for the number of forces i have four 
4, the magnitude of the force, let me start with F1. So I have 150 and 30, 150 and 30. Now for F2, I have 80 and 80 and 110. So 80, 110. Right. And then F3, I have 110 and 270. 110 and 270. And then for this, I have 100 and 345. 100, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So this is my solution. My resultant is 199.65. And the angle it makes is 4.12. That is that. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you. Hope you learned something. See you in the next one. Um, the next one will try to write a code or no, will try to develop an app using the app designer in my lab so that instead of using the scripts, you can just put in the figures in your app and get your resultants. Thank you. See you in the next one.